January 2021, it was reported that Kimora Lee Simmons unexpectedly sold the Titanic Beverly Park mansion she owned with her husband, Tim Leisner. The compound spanned 3.8 acres and the couple only lived in it for less than four years, but reportedly they hadn't moved out of the neighborhood just yet. Aside from that estate, Kimora owned a smaller Mediterranean mansion in the 90210 that she had leased out. Today, we'll check out a couple of her luxury properties. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kamora Lee Leesner, formerly and best known as Kamora Lee Simmons, is an entrepreneur, fashion designer, model, TV personality, author, and more. You may remember back in the day, I think I was in sixth or seventh grade at the time, how baby fat and fat farm shoes and clothes were all the rage. In 1998, Kamora launched the woman's brand Baby Fat alongside her then husband, Russell Simmons brand Fat Farm, and it was a success. She stepped in as the designer, creating a collection based on what she would wear herself, and by 2001, Baby Fat had gross revenue earnings of $30 million. At the time of this recording, Kimora Lee has amassed major success with a net worth estimated at about $200 million. Kimora didn't need to let go of her Beverly Park mansion for $15.7 million, but maybe she has something even better in mind for her next estate. Once you see the upscale features in her other mansions, though, you'll see how hard they are to talk. Hey everyone, I'm Care the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one featuring the homes of fashion icon Kimora Lee Simmons. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new content daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram and let me know who you want to see featured next. Now let's get into this video. While Kimora has sold her Titanic estate in Beverly Park, as I mentioned, she still owns another impressive house in Beverly Hills, slightly smaller, but still spanning well over 10,000 square feet, which is more square feet than most of us will see in our lifetimes. Records show that the fashion queen purchased this Mediterranean style abode back in 2006 for $8.6 million and has been leasing it out. Maybe now with the sale of the other mansion, she'll have to kick her tenants out and move back in. Who knows, but let's take a look. Back in 2018, 2019, 19, Kimora was on the hunt for a wealthy tenant to lease out her palatial mansion for a whopping $55,000 per month. For that price, you get about 13,000 square feet of space with eight bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and a guest house with two beds and one bath. Located in the convenient and desirable neighborhood of Lower Coldwater Canyon in Beverly Hills, this home was nearly invisible and tucked behind private secured gates as well as trees and more greenery. The exterior of the home is most definitely opulent. By the looks of Kimura's other property, it seems it's just her taste. The interior spaces are also decked out with features like Corinthian columns, tasseled windows, gilded ceiling moldings, and ornate fireplaces. The epic entryway is more like a hotel lobby or even a ballroom and features soaring ceilings with skylights, shiny polished marble floors, and a steep staircase. The equally massive living and dining areas surround this foyer, and I'm gonna bet that Kimura felt like royalty while living here, just like her current tenants probably do. The formal dining room was wrapped in glimmering red and gold wallpaper, which was a bold choice, while nearby there was a mahogany paneled library or study with fireplace. While there were no windows here, there was a door from here leading out into a beige marble floored winter garden which was a cute little touch. Kimura was also able to kick back in the massive family room that had dark herringbone hardwood floors, vaulted ceilings, another fireplace and plenty of french doors out to the pool. While the home looks pretty cold and empty without furnishings, we can use our imaginations to see how Kimura would have set up the common rooms. The kitchen was also as grand as you would expect from Kimura and boasted expensive premium appliances and carved cabinets. There was also a breakfast room attached to the space with Florida ceiling French doors and a built-in TV. Moving through the mansion, it seems to give me even more Caesars Palace vibes, especially in the mirror lines hallway. This is located in the master suite and it attaches the two extravagant dressing rooms to the super luxe bathroom. It makes sense that a fashion designer like Kimura would need two walk-in closets and dressing rooms 
used to store her A plus clothes and accessories. The master bathroom was just as over the top luxurious as the rest with more columns, a chandelier and jetted tubs sitting in marble. Two bedrooms and bathrooms were on the main floor of the mansion for staff or guests while all of the other five were upstairs. Between the main house and the guest house on Kimura's property, there was a swimming pool and spa with a vine draped open air pavilion. The perfect setup for a quiet day in the sun or hosting a party. Stone steps then led down to a grassy lawn with formal gardens that replaced a tennis court and the poolside guest house offered two beds, one bath and even a full kitchen. Not to mention on top of the guest house there was a partly sheltered terrace as well. While Kimura was asking 55k a month to lease out this mega mansion, it was also reported that she found a solid tenant for $45,000 a month as part of a long term agreement. In January 2021 it was reported that Kimura Lee and her husband Tim sold their massive and overly luxurious mansion in the exclusive Beverly Park neighborhood despite only living here for less than 4 years. In 2017 the couple dropped a fortune on the villa spending $25 million on it so it definitely came as a shock when this time they only got a mere $15.7 million from it from the new owners. Built back in 1992, Kimura's former palace was situated in the guard-gated Beverly Park enclave in the mountains between Beverly Hills and Sherman Oaks, which as you probably know is one of the most exclusive and sought after neighborhoods for the rich and famous to live at. Built in 1992, the sprawling estate featured over 20,000 square feet of space divided between a main mansion that was about 15,000 square feet and two additional outbuildings on the property. There were seven bedrooms and 11 bathrooms throughout and no doubt plenty of rooms for Kimura to decorate in sheer opulence. Before we get into interior details, we can't just pass on the outside. The 3.79 acre spread wows you right away with a gated driveway lined with olive trees and perfect hedges, while there's a classy motor court out front too. The multi-winged mansion hosts quite the double height foyer that would have impressed any of Kimura's guests, including double sweeping staircases, columns and clean marble floors. Looking at the other 90210 home Kimura is renting out, we can see just how much she loves her column and royal details. Not only is the entryway flanked with columns, but it's also surrounded by huge formal living and dining rooms. Kimura and Tim's former living room had a unique geometric patterned marble floor and doorways opening to an adorable courtyard. And if that's not fancy enough, the furnishings are equally traditional and look too expensive to even sit on, but I guess that's fitting for a $25 million abode. Kimura could host her A-list friends and colleagues in the dining room, where there looks to be space for about 12 guests. And here, the walls were decked out in gold wallpaper and mahogany wainscoting. Not to mention there were French doors out to the ground. Nearby, there was a wood paneled library which I'm sure doubled as an office for the entrepreneur or her husband. And unlike the one at Kimura's other mansion, this one had windows. The mansion brightens up moving to the spacious kitchen where there are light colored cabinets and a handful of commercial grade and stainless appliances, including double ovens and an amazing fridge which I for one am jealous of. The nearby family room is also brighter, complemented with plush black velvet couches, a stone fireplace, a full wet bar and plenty of natural light. This may just be my favorite room in Kimura's former mansion so far. However, it's hard to compete with the screening room in this estate which seats at least 12 and joins to an attached conservatory room. This gorgeous space boasts a bank of floor to ceiling steel trimmed windows that open to a courtyard fitted with tropical plants including banana plants and palms. It seems Kimura really did think of everything, even outfitting the mansion with the most unique plants. If you thought that was enough, we can't forget about the outdoor space. As you might imagine, the estate had grounds full of luscious gardens and lawns with plenty of terraces fit for a queen like Kimura Lee, and there was a mosaic tiled swimming pool and spa for those hot Los Angeles days. Elsewhere, another posh amenity was the full sized sunken tennis court. So now that we've taken a look at the properties of Kimura Lee Simmons, I think that brings us to the end of our house tour. While she and her husband have gotten rid of that insane $25 million mansion, they hadn't rushed to move out and we'll just have to wait and see what Kimura's next luxury real estate purchase will be. She still owns that first estate we looked at which she's been renting out and the couple formerly owned a fancy Manhattan apartment worth 19 million dollars which they also sold. After seeing Kimura Lee's homes, what did you think? I think I can see she loves anything opulent and over the top royal vibes and I think she carries that in each palatial mansion she lives in. Did you prefer the grand entryway in the first Beverly Hills mansion or the second one? I think I like the second better because of that double staircase. Imagine the photo shoots you could do on there. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments as well as who we should feature next on here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!